Greetings. Today I'm going to discuss with you how to foster safe and supportive educational settings. This presentation is brought to you by the Volusia County School Student Services Division. Our areas of focus today will be on Florida legislation and Volusia County Schools policies pertaining to bullying and harassment. We will also discuss the HOPE scholarship and social emotional practices that we are implementing in Volusia County Schools. Let's begin by taking a look at Florida Statute 1006.147 on school safety, also known as the Jeffrey Johnston Send Up for All Students Act. This statute was signed into law by Governor Charlie Crist in 2008. Debbie Johnston, the mother of a son that died by suicide after being relentlessly bullied for over two years, made it her mission to change the way the effects of bullying were minimized in schools. The Jeffrey Johnston Stand Up for All Students Act requires schools in the state of Florida to adopt policies to discourage bullying in person and online or risk losing state funding. The Jeffrey Johnston Stand Up for All Students Act is an act relating to school safety. It prohibits bullying and harassment of any student or employee of a public K-12 educational institution. This act also provides definitions of bullying and harassment and requires each school district to adopt a policy prohibiting such bullying and harassment. In this statute, Bullying, including cyberbullying, is defined as systematically and chronically inflicting physical hurt or psychological distress on one or more students and may involve teasing, social exclusion, threats, intimidation, stalking, physical violence, theft, sexual, religious, or racial harassment, public or private humiliation, or destruction of property. For these purposes, cyberbullying is bullying through the use of technology or any electronic communication. The statute goes on to define harassment as any threatening, insulting, or dehumanizing gesture, use of data or computer software or written verbal or physical conduct directed against a student or school employee that places a student or school employee in reasonable fear of harm to his or her person, or damage to his or her property has the effect of substantially interfering with a student's educational performance, opportunities, or benefits, or has the effect of substantially disrupting the orderly operation of a school. Now, let's take a look at Volusia County Schools policies on bullying and harassment. Volusia County Schools School Board Policy 525 includes the definitions of bullying and harassment outlined by the Jeffrey Johnston Stand Up for All Students Act. Policy 525 also provides guidance, procedures, and consequences pertaining to bullying and harassment in Volusia County Schools. Volusia County Schools Policy 208 Code of Student Conduct and Discipline for elementary and secondary levels includes language pertaining to bullying and harassment. When referring to bullying and harassment, the Code of Student Conduct and Discipline directs readers to School Board Policy 525. A copy of School Board Policy 525 as well as Policy 208 may be accessed via Volusia County Schools District website. As a result of the Jeffrey Johnston Stand Up for All Students Act and the policies in place in Volusia County Schools, the safety of all students is ensured through non-negotiables that exist in each school environment. These include procedures in place for anonymous reporting, procedures in place to investigate and document bullying and harassment, documentation to be completed by school administrators to document and investigate reports of bullying and harassment, constant communication with parents or guardians, and all reports of bullying will be investigated and documented through the Focus Student Information System and School Environment Safety Incident Reporting, or CESAR. It is extremely important to reiterate the expectation that all incidents of bullying and or harassment must be reported to a school administrator by any knowledgeable stakeholder. Next, we are going to discuss the HOPE Scholarship. Pursuant to Section 1002.40 Florida Statutes, the HOPE Scholarship Program 
provides a public school student who was subjected to an incident of violence or bullying at school the opportunity to transfer to another public school with capacity or request a scholarship to attend an eligible private school. Administrators are responsible for notifying families of the HOPE scholarship program. Notification forms are located in FOCUS. Additional information regarding the HOPE scholarship program can be found on the Florida Department of Education's website. Lastly, we are going to discuss the social-emotional learning practices that are being implemented in Volusia County Schools. Social and emotional learning is the process through which children and adults understand and manage emotions, set and achieve positive goals, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain positive relationships, and make responsible decisions. Research has shown that SEL improves student outcomes and leads to student gains in attitudes about self, others, and school, positive classroom behavior, school attendance, 11 percentile point gain on standardized achievement tests, and leads to decreases in student bullying and aggression, stereotyping, content problems, and emotional distress. In Volusia County Schools, we aim to seamlessly integrate SEL into the academic experience of all learners and educators. Through SEL, we will support the promotion of equality, mutual respect, collaboration, civic participation, high academic achievement, and joy in learning. By providing a foundation for safe and positive learning through SEL, we will enhance students' ability to succeed in school, careers, and life. Volusia County Schools is committed to creating a coherent and sustainable plan for long-term SEL implementation. Volusia County Schools SEL resources are accessible via the VCS SEL Canvas course, which is open to all VCS employees. The course includes digital SEL resources for all grade levels, elementary and middle school daily SEL curriculum, and online and in-person SEL professional learning. Thank you for viewing this presentation. We all are responsible for fostering safe and supportive educational settings. Have a wonderful school year.